All right, the last master quiz of the year is categorizing equations and graphs. Uh, all your possible answers are listed up here. So we're looking for linear increasing, linear decreasing, positive or negative quadratic, exponential growth or exponential decay. Now this can be easy if you have like a, a logical progression to go through and think about them. So when looking at equations, what I like to think about is first I just scan over the entire equation and then I pick out the, the most important part. In this case, the most important part is the x squared, okay? So because this equation has an x squared, that automatically makes it a quadratic. So it's either going to be positive or negative, but it's gonna, it has to be a quadratic. Every time you see x squared, you should be writing quadratic. Whoops, hopefully spelled correctly since it's spelled right up there. So is it a positive or is it a negative? So with quadratics, to tell, you look right in front of the x squared. Is there a negative number there at all or a negative sign? In this case, there is not. So we know that this is a positive quadratic. And we're done with problem number one. Let's move on to equation number two. I look at it, I don't see any x squareds. In fact, I see this negative 2x, and there's nothing really fancy about that x, okay? In fact, this is in slope-intercept form. This, if we graphed it, would make a straight line. We learned that, that back in semester one. So we know that this makes a line, and so we look at these choices that have the word line in them, and we know that this is linear. We, um, similar to what we did with the quadratic, we look in front of that x, and we notice we have a negative two, okay? That means that our slope is negative and our line is going down, or decreasing. So we know that this is linear, decreasing. And we're done with equation number two. The last equation, um, the special thing about the x here is that it's a little guy and it's up high, so that means it's an exponent. So we look for the option that has the word exponent in it, and we see exponential. So we know that this is exponential. Now, exponential ones are the hardest ones to tell, whether it's growth or decay. It doesn't have to do with positives and negatives, really. It has to do with whether the number that's the base on, for the x is bigger than 1, or is it a fraction or a decimal that is smaller than 1. In this case, the x is on the base 4. 4 is bigger than 1, so that makes this exponential growth. If that 4 was a fraction or a decimal smaller than 1, like say 3 fourths or let's say 0 0.2, then it would be exponential decay. But in this case, it's growth. Let's go ahead and look at some graphs. So we've got three graphs here. Um, and the first graph that I'm looking at up in this corner actually looks the easiest to me. What I see there is a straight line. So I know that this is linear. And if I imagined a little guy walking along this line, he would be going uphill. Ever so slightly, he would be going uphill. So I'm going to call this linear increasing. It's getting taller as we go across as we would read a book, left to right. So that's linear increasing. Um, the next graph down here is probably one that we are second most familiar with. This shape you might re recognize as a parabola. This is a smiling parabola. And remember that the equations that make parabolas are equations that have x squared in them, which we talked about as being quadratic. So we know that this shape of a parabola is only made by quadratics. Now, since it's smiling, you know that if somebody is smiling, they are in a positive mood. So this is actually a positive quadratic. The final graph, um, just by elimination, you can probably guess that it's exponential. Um, but the reason that it is exponential is because it has a curve to it, 
but it doesn't look like it's going to come and curve back up like the parabola does. The parabola curves down, but then it comes right back up. The exponential graph just curves down and it just kind of keeps going down. So we know that this one is exponential. Is it exponential growth or is it exponential decay? Well, we can tell that as we go left to right, this graph keeps getting closer and closer and closer to the x-axis, okay? Anytime it drops closer and closer and closer to the x-axis, it is exponential decay. And that is the mastery quiz for categorizing graphs and equations. Good luck.